Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, a uh, nice day so far. Yeah, not the same story tomorrow, Tom. No, I hope you had a chance to enjoy today. I tried to give you a heads up yesterday, so, you know, things are going downhill a little bit tomorrow. In fact, I want to give you some weather headlines just to give you an overview of what we're thinking here. Showers and some thunderstorms on the way for tomorrow. That's what we're thinking at this point. The other thing is it's going to be pretty windy, expecting a strong southwest wind during the day on Wednesday, which means on the eastern side of the Adirondacks and also the Green Mountains, especially the southern Green Mountains, I think the wind is going to be whipping along, pushing 45 to 50 miles an hour. And then have you heard? You knew this couldn't last. It's going to turn cooler around here by Thursday. All right, let's say we take a look at Stowe here. Looking good. Spent a little time over the weekend at Stowe. Colors are nice. 62 degrees. We've got a south wind there at 8 miles an hour, so not too bad. All right, here's what we're doing for temperatures right now. It's 63 Plattsburgh along with Milton. Right now, Waterbury at 62. We've got 60s as you head on down to the south. Places like, well, Lebanon 67 and 64, popular number, down to the south, including Rutland. So in the Champlain Valley, if you're heading out tonight, you're going to be just fine and dandy. No problems. Maybe a couple of showers around outside the valley late tonight. But in the meantime, in the valley, we're looking at lows in the 50s. We will take that. It is going to continue to be kind of breezy with the south wind. And with that going on, it's going to keep the temperatures up. So storm tracker, you know, mentioned maybe a shower or two. Northern New York, northern Vermont over the last hour or so. But we're talking a couple of raindrops and <laughs> that is about it. But we're keeping an eye on what's going on in the Great Lakes. We've got an area of low pressure. We've got an associated cold front. That is what's coming our way. So in front of the front, we've got a pretty stiff, basically a southwest wind. And that's going to be hauling along at some 30 to 45 miles an hour. And also we've got the rain that's going to be here. Chance for showers in the morning, but it looks like later in the day that is going to pick up. All right, want to take you out to the Caribbean. Holy cow, have you heard? Five o'clock advisory, Hurricane Delta, winds now 100 and 45 miles an hour. It looks like this thing is going to be very close to the Yucatan Peninsula. It's moving along west-northwest at 17 miles an hour. We'll put the track on this from the National Hurricane Center and take a look at the latest. This may be cranked up to, say, a Category 3, which would be drawing it back a little bit from where it is. But, I mean, seriously, this is Friday, later in the day into Saturday morning. Still the center of the cone of uncertainty goes over Louisiana. Wow. All right, we'll keep an eye on that for you. For tomorrow, for us, we've got the chance for a shower or two in the morning. And then I think things ramping up midday into the afternoon with showers around. And we think some rumbles of thunder as well. It's going to be cooler. Temperatures low 60s at best. So this is tonight. We go through the overnight. Couple of showers around. Here's the beginning of tomorrow. I think early in the morning, relatively quiet. And then things are starting to pick up. Later in the morning, especially early afternoon. And later in the afternoon with showers, perhaps some thunderstorms. We will be here covering that for you. Into evening time, same kind of thing. And then by Thursday, quite a bit cooler around here. Even though we'll see some sunshine. But the wind is not going to help. How much rain are we talking about? Not a lot. Some may be pushing half an inch or so, and that's about it. So increasing clouds, some showers around here late tonight. Upper 40s into the 50s because the south wind is going to hang in there. Then tomorrow, showers, thunderstorms. It is going to be a windy day. Highs, upper 50s, low 60s. After that, it gets even cooler. So tomorrow has the potential to be kind of messy during the afternoon. We'll call it an impact day at 62. Breezy Thursday, cooler, 51, 57 Friday. A few showers Saturday, but won't ruin the day. Sunday looks to be dry. We go from 70 to 60, then a lot of 60s on the map with a couple days with a few showers, including next Tuesday and Thursday.